Ladies and gents, greetings. Welcome to First Light Cloud Exchange, your cloud solution center. Today, we wanted to discuss the process of procuring technology for your business. You know, back in the days, there were only a handful of carriers. You had AT&T, Verizon, Sprint, WorldCom. You could get your phone service from AT&T and Sprint, and you would get your data connection from WorldCom, and you were done. It was a very simple time. Today, however, that is not the case. The landscape has vastly changed. For every technology requirement, there are 16 different variations and 96 different options or different carriers. Now, how do you know which one to pick, who to trust? How do you vet that process? Well, First Light Cloud Exchange is a telecom and IT consulting firm that represents 400 different carriers. We can bring you multiple different options for any requirement that you may have. However, the company that powers First Light Cloud Exchange is actually a master agent or a technology service distributor. We work with many technology service distributors. Today we invited ScanSource, Mr. Louis Lavigna, to discuss that relationship. ScanSource is one of our premier technology service distributors, and Louis Lavigna is our channel manager. Louis, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you. Thank you for coming over. So we wanted to discuss this whole uh, relationship behind the scene to bring a better understanding to our customers and prospects how we are better positioned in the marketplace to deliver a great solution <clears throat> to them. Sure. Great. So I, I think your relationship with ScanSource and Intellisys is something that you know, it brings significant value for your customers today. You had mentioned earlier with regards to the 400 suppliers or carriers that you have relationships with, we have vetted most of those out. We have about 200 of those in our portfolio that we feel are best in breed for their relative technologies that they deliver to the market and to your customers. Just to let you know, take a step back with regards to ScanSource, 30-year-old privately held, I'm sorry, publicly held company, Fortune 1000, listen to Fortune 1000, just shy of $4 billion in revenue. They purchased us in 2016 in Telesis to form the largest technology service distributor in the world. A lot has changed. You know, it's funny when you bring up WorldCom, you bring up the separate disparate <laughs> networks of the voice and the data. You know, that's the world that I grew up in. That's yep. where I cut my teeth in this business. And most primarily on the direct side, which I think we're going to talk about in a little mm -hmm. bit. But I think it's one of the greatest industries to be in. It's constantly moving. You're, you're constantly updating the customers. You're constantly looking at new vendors. You're constantly looking at new technologies. And the way you just take a look at how you know people are working today in the workforce, 40% are working remotely today. Mm -hmm. Five years ago, that was not the case. So how do you shift your technology needs and requirements for your customers, just like you're dealing with your customers and what you're delivering to them? And I think the best way or the best route is absolutely going through a TSD like ourselves, who happens to be one of the biggest and the best in the world. Thank you for that intro. Sure. Let's clarify TSD a bit more. So what is your role? I mean, you're not interfacing with the prospect or the customers. We are. Correct. But you're empowering us. Absolutely. Let's talk about how are you empowering us? Sure. <clears throat> so getting back to the suppliers that we work with, the suppliers in our, in our portfolio, we have a, a team of supplier managers that actually vet out these suppliers in any given technology a silo or vertical, whichever it may be. Those types of suppliers that we vet out are, are people that we stand behind, people that we trust. And we're doing the work for you, essentially, okay? So when you come to us with an opportunity, whether it be in a CCAS space, whether it be in a cloud, mobility, TEM, technology expense management type of solution, we know who to go to. We'll give you a list of probably three or four of the top players in the market. I mean, I think that's very important. That, that saves you time and energy because we're a trusted advisor just like you're a trusted advisor to your customers. And then uh, ultimately, we will bring in the resources on my team. I, I'm the, the business development manager here for New York City and New Jersey. Behind me is a, an entire team and probably you know, some of the best in the business. I, I've worked with a lot of people over the years and you know, just like we vet our suppliers, we vet our employees and the people that support you. So you have a team of solutions architect behind you. You have a support person. You have a contracts person. You have a commissions person. All those folks are there to help you. Yep. And the more that we pull off your plate, the easier it is for you to go out and, and find that new business. And ultimately, that's what this business is all about. Yeah. Thank you for that very detailed explanation. And I'm going to 
just simplify it a bit more. You know, sure. as a salesperson, when I'm bringing you a solution, you're probably wondering if I'm actually pushing that particular carrier, right? And that's what a typical salesperson would do anyway if, when, they're, when you're working for a, only one company. However, we are in a very unique position. ScanSource allows us to approach and actually get a solution from a variety of different providers. And the, the good thing is we do not have to have a direct relationship with, let's say, Verizon or AT&T or Spectrum. You know, ScanSource manages and maintains those primary relationships. What does that do? That actually minimizes a lot of the typical problems that, that could reside in this relationship, which is, let's say, quota, right? Mm -hmm. We do not have a quota with any particular one carrier, right? We work with ScanSource, ScanSource manages all that relationship, and we can go to any carrier without having to worry about fulfilling some requirements or any bias. So that's a, that's a big point. Right, yes, absolutely. You know, the vendor agnostic approach is 100% the way to go, right? The direct relationship relative to the trusted advisor or partner such as yourself, I think is significantly different and significantly benefits a customer. If you think about, you know, one of the tier one providers has a sales rep that's managing your account, he's only gonna sell you what that provider can provide to them, right? That's their job and they do that well. Well, over the years, the carriers have realized that partners have the relationships, probably stronger so because of the long-term relationships that you had in this business and this, whichever vertical you might have a niche in. Um, the direct rep, again, is, is limited to what they can provide. The channel integration program uh, that has, was instituted several years ago um, across multiple carriers really helps the partners, right? So if there is a direct account team and the, or the customer does have a direct a relationship with those carriers, you're able to go in there and work with them because you also have the partnership or relationship. Um, so teaming with them is something that is not necessarily unique, but it's something that's helped the channel market significantly over the past year. Uh, ultimately, the carriers realize that they're only going to lose business here. They can only, it can only help them when they do some channel integration. So I think that's very important. But back to being agnostic and being able to kind of recommend a technology over a supplier, that's paramount, right? You really want what's best for your customer, right? Giving them options as opposed to just that one specific carrier is definitely going to be much helpful long term for them. Right. And piggybacking on that, there was a research that was done that now 50% of the new businesses that are written, that are earned, are done by the indirect channel. Is that, is that right? 50, we, I think we have crossed that threshold? I believe so, yes. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's definitely significant. Um, you know, I, again, I started my career on the direct side, so I've been on both sides of the fence. And being able to go into a customer with multiple options is so much better, right? You're ultimately giving them the choice, but ultimately you're the trusted advisor. So you're gonna bring them choices, but you're gonna bring them the right choices, right? You're gonna vet them out. I mean, that's something that where we come into play, where we're part of your team, we're an extended arm of, of yeah. your, your organization. But I think that's significant, that brings significant value to, to any opportunity that you might come. Sure. Engage us soon, as soon as possible, and let us help you go on that first call or at least have a conversation. And from the carrier's perspective, they also prefer the indirect channel because what happens is we have a, a personal relationship with you, right? We come on site, whatever we sell, we install, we manage. You call us for all things technical, billing, etc. So there's an ongoing relationship that lasts five, ten years, which basically means you're a happy customer, so you, you end up staying with the carrier that we brokered, which means the carrier is happy, right? right. The churn rate is very low, right. the customer stays back, it's much easier to maintain an existing customer than go out and get new business. So it's a win-win scenario for everyone. For sure. Now let's talk about, sorry, did you have? No. Uh, let's talk about the other resource that you bring to the agent community, which is a deep bench of engineers and technical yep. expertise, right? Yes, absolutely. So we have over about 26 engineers nationwide that are, are solutions architects. And I mentioned earlier before that that's part of our team and extended, extended arm, but for you, you know, my solutions architect, Mike Rada, is one of the best. I've worked with many, many over the years. Oh, yes. And, so have I. Uh, you know, as a sales guy, you know, I, I'm, I am definitely not a technical person, but 
you know, I, I like to, the way I look at it from my position is I'm, I'm putting people together, right? And I have an incredibly strong team across the board, Mike being my first point of contact with any net new opportunity for my partners. Quite frankly, a lot of my partners go to Mike directly, which is great. And that just shows that the strong relationship that we have with our partner community. But in addition to that, we also have subject SME subject matter experts. CISO, uh, virtual CISO, all of that. Virtual CISO, exactly. So some of the, a big focus going into 2023 is obviously cybersecurity. Correct. <clears throat> Cybersecurity today is, you know, if that's not first on everyone's yeah. list, there, there's trouble, right? We read every day what's going on in the marketplace, and quite frankly, we have some of the some of the best suppliers out there. More importantly, in addition to my resources from a solutions architect, we also have the resources within those suppliers that will go out there and you really identify what's missing or where they can help. It's tough to go in and rip and replace some uh, large or mid enterprise type of environment where we can come in and fill the gaps where needed and or rate make recommendations moving forward. Absolutely. Still preparation. Absolutely. I think one of the challenges the SMB market faces is that there is a real requirement, like you're saying, ransomware yeah. is in the news every day. Every business is under threat today. <clears throat> Good news is there are solutions on this side, right? But there's a gap. And a company like ScanSource does a great job bridging that gap. Absolutely. Right? A typical 100 employee uh, customer or uh, business or even a smaller business may not be, may not be able to afford a CISO sure. or, or even a CTO. Yep. Well, that's where you leverage the engineer, engineer like Mike Ratto and, yep. and the others that yep. Intellisys ScanSource has, and they will give you the same service. They will recommend the same services and solutions that are required for you to run a business in optimum condition. Yeah. So... Getting back to how ScanSource and Intellisys and how where we are today, it, it, you know, it, it was built from the ground up, right? So ScanSource built, they were a, a incredibly large reseller, hardware reseller. They had the foresight to see that service provider is the way to go and getting away from the, the disparate networks and getting away from the break fix. It's more of a managed service play, right? So yep. They, that's what, that was the whole purpose or intent of buying Intellisys and, and putting the two together. And really understanding that if you understand that and how we put our company together, you understand how the market shifted. Right. Um, so luckily they did that early on and, and that's we're in our seventh year together. And you know, I can walk into any opportunity regardless of size, SMB, mid enterprise, large enterprise, global enterprise, and have a solution for them or have something that can help remedy some of the situations they may be in today. And that's setting up that distribution chain, that hybrid just distribution, is really geared for any size co company. Sure. So the SMB space, which, you know, in some cases on the direct side was really overlooked because it's just you're going to a call center, you're really not getting the personal touch. The SMB space is now absolutely a service by Intellisys and, and helps our partners out a tremendous way. Thanks for that segue. I mean, enterprise, large organizations, they have the uh, means to engage a, a, a firm like Accenture, right? Mm -hmm. and, and they will come in and they will give you the full consultation. They will deploy everything. Sure. You're in good hands. Right. Again, SMB, like you said, they're overlooked, right? Yep. They do not have that same exposure to all these resources. Yep. And, and, and ScanSource brings those resources. You're guiding that customer mm -hmm. from point A to point Z, right. uh, from you know, completely being analog on on-prem solutions and not having the right direction. You're actually guiding that entire process, bringing, bringing them to the cloud, to the right platform, and setting them up. Yeah, especially now, right? Post-COVID, the, the post-COVID world that we're living in, you take a look at you know what's on their plate. You know we talked about security being a priority. Well, they have thirty priorities, right? It, you know, it, it's it, what 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 can we help them with? And, and that's the beauty of what we bring, right? That's what we bring to you, and you are able to bring to your customers. So we're 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 excited to work with any opportunity, just because we know we can handle it and support that. Um, and then once people understand that the additional resources that are available to them that we're able to provide you, you know, you know everyone is going to to benefit from it. I think it's not just net new partners, it's also going back to some of your existing customers and say, hey, are you aware of this? Do you know what's going on, how the market's changing? The market changes really dictates how you're going to support your customers, right? Exactly. So <clears throat> being, being able to provide the, the resources that we have, 
you know, I love it. It's constantly changing and we're constantly moving and, and identifying ways we can help our partners and also the end users ultimately. Hey, look, proof is in the pudding. I mean, we've been in business since 2003 and 85% of our customers end up staying with us 12 plus years. That only happens because we have the support from companies like ScanSource, from mm -hmm. people like you. Mm -hmm. You know, when there's a complicated, complex requirement, we do not go at it alone. We engage MicroData, we engage Lula Vigna, and all the other resources that you have. They make the recommendations, they give us the solutions, and we bring it to them, and that always happens to be the right solution. Yes. Because it's free of bias, it's free of, and it, it, it takes into consideration all the latest and the greatest requirements, mm -hmm. what the customer needs, and that is the best approach to any problem. So think about it. So you, you have a customer for 12 years, right? Significant, that is significant in the marketplace. Now think about same customer with one tier one provider for 12 years. How many sales reps yeah. have they gone through? Uh, yeah, right, 15. Right? Let's just say one a year. Right? <laughs> yeah. They've gone through 12 different reps, right? Yep. So now they got to reestablish a relationship with that carrier 12 different times. And that's really the frustration that the end users or the customers you know, have experienced over the past five, 10 years. Take a look at the carriers, right? Carriers are, are trying to do more with less, right? What does that mean? Ultimately, less resources for the end Absolutely. User. That's why I think the channel, the channel is absolutely the way to go. And you know, ultimately, partners like yourself. To and, and another thing, I'm sorry to cut you off. Sure. Uh, another thing we did not address, right? When, you're, when, you, when you do not have a personal relationship with, with a broker, uh, that, that rep le ends up leaving over and over again, and mm -hmm. you have someone new. Another thing that's happening on the background, no one is looking at your contract, no one is looking at your price structure. That keeps going up. <laughs> exactly. With us, one massive, one major benefit that we bring to our customers, whatever we promise them on day one, for duration of that term, the price stays at that, yep. and we keep going back and we keep bringing them better business, either at same price mm -hmm. or at a lower cost. Right. So those are also other benefits that sure. we bring. Absolutely, so you, know, you take a look at you know, some of the, the silos that we talked about as far as our key areas of focus. It's gonna be you know, technology expense management, it's gonna be the managed services, it's gonna be cloud compute, it's gonna be unified or CCAS as a service, uh, mobility. Now these are all areas in which you can go back to those same customers and identify additional revenue yep. streams that you can A, <clears throat> save money on, and or consolidate right. um, based on the, the technology shifts. And also, again, the technology shifting, but taking a look at the work, workforce, right? Again, we talked about 40% yep. of the people working remotely. How do you, how do you support that? You know, so there's so many things on these guys' plates and the trust factor you talked about before, I think is essential in our business. If you don't have the trust, you're, you're yep. not gonna last You're long. not gonna be in business. You're, you're gonna have, they're gonna take the next phone call because they're getting five phone calls a yes. day, right? From, from We know that. That's just the, the nature yep. of the business. And there's nothing wrong with that, but ultimately, what value are you bringing to your part? You customer? have to earn your supper. You have to, absolutely. And by, you do that by off showing them ways in which yes. they can either save money, save money and or be more efficient. Yes. So. This was a great discussion. Yeah. Thank you very much. Please continue to support us, continue Absolutely. to support our customers, both our end customers, and we depend on you. Great. We depend on your expertise and the infrastructure that you built. Without your infrastructure, we would not have the same business, and our customers would not have the same reliability that they do today. We really appreciate your business status. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Okay, buddy. Thank you for tuning in. Goodbye. Thank you.